Good morning, my peeps. It's Thursday morning, day nine, the ninth. And uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, quick. I'm gonna take some yogurt to work. If you have a Costco, I'm telling you, get these wild blueberries. These are amazing. We are going to make something with this this weekend. They are, they're so darn cute. They're these little itsy bitsy berries. And what's great about them is you can take them right out of the freezer and since they're so small, they thaw out really fast. So I'm going to take my Greek yogurt and uh, make a bowl and bring to work. I mean, look at these berries. Let's see if I can give you, show you these berries. See them? Oh. I'm thinking, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think what I paid for this. Uh, it was at least $8. It was the same price as that other mixed berry bake. So there we go. Ugh. All right, peeps. I gotta get Buffy out and hightail it over to work. We'll see you soon. Well, I didn't plan on doing a video tonight, but uh, after having those wonderful wild blueberries this morning, I thought about making the uh, keto uh, blueberry cobbler. I was talking to uh, the best friend of my late sister Gloria in Louisiana because she made a post about blueberry cobbler. So I thought, wow, yeah, you know, that's what I want to do with the wild blueberries. So that's why we're here tonight. I didn't want to wait until the weekend, and this is so quick and easy. Uh, let's just do it. You take one cup of either fresh or frozen blueberries, and you put them in the bowl, just a small bowl, and then I have two teaspoons of my, my Lakanto sweetener, or sweetener of your choice, One, two teaspoons. I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of the uh, xanthan gum. And then that's the Bob's Red Mill that I'm using. So simple. Oh, we're gonna preheat the oven to 375. Now we're going to put in one tablespoon of vanilla. This is the really good stuff. Uh, my coworker Lori makes it and she gave me this bottle. It's incredible. All right, and then one tablespoon of lemon juice. We're just going to mix it all up to coat. getting really nice and juicy. It'll look like this. I buttered the uh, ramekins over here. They're the Rachel Ray uh, 10 ounce ramekins. Just lightly buttered them. Next, I'm going to grab the blueberries and evenly distribute them on the bottom of the ramekins. Okay, they're pretty evenly distributed. And then, we just set this aside. Onto the crumble. 
Okay, we're gonna add two thirds cup of almond flour. Now you know I always sift mine, but in this case, uh, <laughs> I'm not sifting it. You kinda want it, you know, clumpy. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of my sweetener, the Lakanto. And with that. I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. And lastly, a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Today, when I was talking to Angie on Facebook, uh, it, it was really nice. Um, but she had stated that uh, she has to watch her sugar. So I invited her to the channel and she subscribed today. So welcome, Angie. Now I'm going to grab a fork. We're just going to mix this up and form a crumble. This takes no time at all. It should look like this. I have my ramekins with my berries in it. If you can get those wild blueberries, I highly recommend it. They're so good. So I'm going to distribute this over the four ramekins. Okay, now that that is evenly distributed, I feel like it needs a little more crunch. So I'm using my Pro Granola uh, cereal that I used in the um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch video just a few days ago. And uh, I still had some left. And I'm just going to sprinkle lightly some of that on the top. This is a, you know, an optional step, but I think it's going to be good like this, if you have it on hand. Into the oven it goes. Fifteen to eighteen minutes, approximately, depending on your oven. We'll be back. That took about 17 minutes, and uh, yeah, they're bubbling away. Well, they were just a second ago. <laughs> now, these are kind of low because they're 10 ounce ramekins. Uh, I only had two of the six ounce, but uh, they would be perfect in the, in the six ounce. We're gonna let these cool off a little bit and pull out the whipping cream. I have the uh, extra creamy whipped cream. It's one carb for um, uh, two tablespoons. So let's give it a rip. That's about two tablespoons. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Looks yummy. Mm. That is really good. I highly recommend the Crunchy Pro Granola on there, the cinnamon cluster. Really good. Now, that serving size is eight carbs um, with the whipping cream. Uh, you can add some low carb ice cream, 
but then you're going to make it carbier. So just make sure it's in your macros. So thanks peeps for coming by for another video. We will see you sometime this weekend. We'll see you then.